Hello and welcome to my unboxing of the Adeptus Titanicus Warbringer Nemesis Titan with a Quake Cannon, Volcano Cannon and Laser Blaster. Now this model will set you back £55, uh, but if you get it from Element Games you can save a chunk of money and it will only set you back £44. In terms of the price, Reaver Titans are 35, Warlord Titans are 65. This is sort of in between sizes, between the, the Reaver and the Warlord, but it has that massive Quake Cannon on the back. So that's the reason why you're paying uh, more than a Reaver Titan. It's not the same size as a Reaver Titan at all, but it's not quite the, the height of a Warlord Titan. I think it's fairly priced. I would have liked to have seen more weapon options for the arms though. That's that's one thing I would say about this kit. Uh, in my opinion, it seems like they've purposely limited uh, these weapons so that uh, you can uh, buy extras um, to, to change the weapons. I'm not sure you'll be able to change the top Quake Cannon to anything else though, but we'll see once I've built it. Anyway, this is it. Uh, let's have a little unwrap. It's a quite a, a thin box, as you can see. You've got uh, some artwork there on the sides. And then on the rear, you have a look at the Volcano Cannon, the Laser Blaster, and the Quake Cannon. It's worth noting that the two weapons, the two as I say, main weapons, are exactly the same as what you'd find on uh, a Reaver Titan. They are Battle Titan-sized weapons. It's the same for my full-size Nemesis Warbringer Titan, which I still haven't built yet but rest assured there'll be videos on the channel. I actually want to do a step-by-step -step process of building a Nemesis Warbringer Titan video series. So if you're interested in that, please do leave a comment on this video and I'll do my best because to get one of those models anyway, they're over a thousand pound or so with all the weapons. So if you want me to go through that with you, I will do, but it might take a little while to uh, come through to the channel. Anyway, you've also got that big quake cannon at the back. Anyway, uh, you, you get uh, the card command terminals as well and some transfer sheets. Gives you a little bit of a um, paint scheme, you know, suggested paint scheme, but it only shows sort of four colors. Uh, doesn't really give you any tips and things. I'm not sure there'll be anything in the box, um, but we'll see. So in here, how many sprues is it? Two, three, oh, that's three sprues. Uh, here's the instruction guide and the rule pack. go you get these little weapon cards uh, you've got the laser blaster the bellicosa volcano cannon and the mori quake cannon uh, there you go it's a 72 inch range weapon uh, blast 5 concussive and quake and that's the arc that it has as uh, if you wanted to know this is the command terminal three hundred twenty five points it says and then this is the instruction guide quite a, a big size instruction guide uh, you've got some um, more painting guides there it's the same it's similar to, to that that one really, but you've got Legio Mortis and you've got uh, Legio Furions. So how easy it to, is it to build? Yep, just build all the leg components and the hips, build those first and then the rear and then the weapons themselves and then the Quake Cannon. Quite interesting to know the Quake Cannon looks like it's different to, you know, the resin kit. How it goes together. Build the hips, put the weapons on, and there you go. 
So you don't glue the quake cannon, don't glue the top uh, anti-air weapons, but everything else. So very nice little uh, instruction guide there. Uh, and then you've got the base itself. That looks like a reaver size base. And then you've got the transfer sheet. This is just, this is, wow, it's an individual uh, Nemesis Titan transfer sheet. So they've got, uh, it says Games Workshop 2019. So this is probably ready for last year. Um, but there you go, there's the base and the transfer sheet. And then let's have a look at these sprues there. So you get two of these uh, half sprues, I want to call them. You've got some lovely, lovely uh, armor pieces, some that are clear, some that have the eagles on, some that have the um, heresy uh, eye on. You've got these solid chunks uh, for the uh, leg armor. And you've got the little shield, and you've got uh, all kinds of different plates. You've got the funky looking shield plates too. This is the weapons. Uh, when I mean the weapons, I mean it's got uh, the volcano cannon, the laser blasters, and the uh, quake cannon. So much detail in there with the vents. Looks very similar to, uh, to the resin kit as well. Lots of detail in there too. Fantastic. You've even got one of the uh, ammunitions as well, one of the rounds. And then you've got the big uh, sprue itself uh, with the little uh, defense weapons. You've got the um, more the bolt cannons on there. One of those for the rear, I think. Oh, and then two there. So it's very, very dedicated um, to the resin kit. You've got the three bolt cannons on there. You've got the anti-air guns. The feet are all one piece. They look amazing. Uh, there as well. You've got the rear, the legs, lots of detail there. And then the back exhausts. This uh, quake cannon pad, I want to call it, firing pad. The steps, looks amazing. You've got the little void shield as well, separate. You've got the handrails even. Um, loads and loads of detail. And you've got the head as well. Yeah, loads and loads of detail on this. More armor plates, the back. Yeah, fantastic amount of detail. Lovely. So that is the Warbringer Nemesis Titan for Adeptus Titanicus. Uh, Stay tuned to the channel and you'll see a real full review at some point. What do you guys think of the kit? Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.